Good morning, Ayel. This is our Bulgarian lesson with you today, the 15th of April, okay? So you must write the name of your home country in exercise number one, and it is Israel. Can you write it down, please? Yeah, I wrote it already. Bravo, okay. That's easy. Exercise one is done. Okay, exercise two. Prepiši думите, с които можеш да замениш думата родина. So, татковина, do you understand the task? You should copy the words that are synonyms with the word rodina. Rodina means a home country. Rodina. Yeah, okay. It comes from the word rod. Rod is your tribe, your kin. And the place where your family is, your kin, your, your parents and grandparents live, that's your home country which is in Bulgarian language, Rodina, Rodina. My parents live right over here. So we say, my, uh, my home country is Israel. Mojeta Rodina e Israel. Prepiši dumite s koito možeš da zameniš dumata Rodina. Which of these words mean the same? Rodina. Do you know? Tatkovina, Rodnina, Otečesvo, or city, grad. Which is a synonym to the word rodina? Tuva e, this is tatkovina, is one of both, the both words. Tatkovina is a synonym of rodina. E, otečestvo. Both words start with the word dad in Bulgarian language. We say daddy in Bulgarian. Tatko, tatko, tatkovina is one of the words which have the same meaning as rodina. So you should write here tatkovina. So this is here tatkovina. Tatkovina. And there is another one. Otečestvo. Otečestvo is another word for otečestvo. Is another word for a uh, rodina, tatkovina, mojeta tatkovina e Bulgaria. Tvojeta tatkovina e Izrael. Mojeto otečestvo e Bulgaria. Let, let's make a sentence with these words. So we say, mojeta tatkovina, tatkovina e Izrael. Write it down for you okay. in the workbook. Moeta tatkovina e Israel. Also, we say, okay, I am waiting for you, don't rush. I know that you're writing slowly. Okay. So, we say, Moeta tatkovina e Mojeta tatkovina e Izrael. E Izrael. I want you to take a picture of your handwriting later on to see whether you're writing beautifully. So do your best to write the letters beautifully. Is it okay if I'm going to write tatko? Is it okay if we what? If we tatko. write tatko. If we only write tatko, it's the same word. Yeah. No, if you write only tatko, it means daddy in the Bulgarian language. But yeah. if you write tatko vina, it means rodina. So tatko is a different word from tatko vina, okay? So this is not the same word. Okay. But I don't have any space on my sh on here. Okay. So only then I just gave you an example. Write only tatkovina. Tatkovina. I wrote tatkovina. I wrote because it was too short. 
Okay, so but pay attention that this word that covina is a is a feminine is a word in a feminine gender in Bulgarian language. It ends in the letter A, Tatkovina, which means my home country in Bulgarian language. So we say Moyeta Tatkovina A is an L. Okay. Moeto otechestvo, it's another word which is a synonym. Okay, which means the same is otechestvo. Moeto otechestvo e Israel. Okay, when you're ready, let me know. Moeto otechestvo e Bulgaria. A tvoje to otečstvo e Izrael. Okay. Oh, Ayel, it's so difficult to be all day in front of the computers. Yeah? Is it difficult for you to be in front of the computer all day long? Uh, no, actually, right now we have a holiday. There's no computers. We're doing some things because it's a very special day for Hebrew people because it's a holiday right now. You mean today? Is it Easter? Yes. What holiday are you celebrating no, today? We're not celebrating Easter. It's uh -huh. called Hag Pesach. Ah, it's another yes. celebration, yes. And what do you celebrate on that day? We celebrate the day how how Moses helped all Israels get back home because they worked hard for the for the yeah the whom the Egypt. I see, I see, I see. So you're celebrating that day today, yes? So you're not at school, okay. Okay, now are we ready to continue with the next uh, activity? Uh, no, I only read the, wrote the first one, I'll write the second. Okay, okay, now write down the exercise two. Circle, you can circle the word that Kovina and Otejusvo which mean the same. They have the same meaning. Yeah, okay. Tatkovina is a similar word to Otechesvo. They mean the same in Bulgarian language. Otechesvo? Yes. Otechesvo. 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 Well, this word, if we decide to uh, write it in syllables, it is going to be O, TE, CHEST, VO. This is how we copy, we write the word in syllables. O, TE, CHEST, VO. O, TE, CHEST, VO. Moito, O, TE, CHEST, VO, E, Israel. Moito otechestvo e Izrael. I'm drinking some tea. Moito otechestvo e. Bravo, 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 Yael. Very beautifully, beautifully. Okay, we're ready. Now let's continue with the next activity. Svaji, connect the words. Okay, let me clear these things. Okay, do you know the words Zlato Krili? What does it mean? Do you know Zlato Krili? It means with gold wings. Gold, is, gold. gold is Zlato. Because it means Zlato is Gold. Yes, krila is wings in Bulgarian language. Zlato krili means gold, golden winged. And you have to link this one in, a, in to another word on the right. 
Yeah, I know you do this, this, this. And it is gonna be which one? It is this word is in plural form because it is Zlato Krili. Which of these words ends in the same letter E? Zlato Krili. Which one? Cheli. Bravo. Cheli. Do you know Cheli? Cheli yeah. is B. It means wind. Bees. These are bees. Bees. These are bees. Okay. And we are linking them with the word, which is in plural form. And this is Lato Krili Pcheli. Okay? So you should link the words together. Zlato Krili Pcheli. Okay? Oh, I'm first writing the note. Okay. Zlato Krili Pcheli. Zlato Krili Pcheli. So this word has got the ending E, and this is the plural adjective, Zlato Krili, and Pcheli is also in the plural form, so they coordinate, they agree in number with one another. Zlato Krili, it means golden-winged bees, golden-winged, with gold wings. Okay, and next is svetl. Do you know the word svetl? Svetl means bright, light as a color, okay? And what can be bright? It must be a word that ends in a consonant because it's a masculine adjective. Svetl is bright, okay? Prikazka. No, no, no. Prikazka ends in a. So maybe Prikaska will go with Chudna. Yes. So this is going to be Chudna Prikaska because they are both feminine. You see, A, A. Chudna Prikaska. Dobar den. Izvinete. Alo. Good morning. V klasom v momente kazite na bojzičku za kakva se uvažate. В клас съм в момента, да. Може ли в 2.15 да ми се обадите? Сега съм в клас. Добре, благодаря. Така, окей, I'm sorry, Mia. I had a phone call. So, чудна, чудна. Say my name is Yael. And Svetel, Rai. This is how we make it. Svetel, Rai. And чудна, приказка. Окей? Because this word is a, in a feminine gender. It is feminine, okay? Feminine because it ends in the letter A. Chudna prikaska. This means a wonderful story. Chudna, a chudna prikaska. Okay? Chudna prikaska. As, uh, do you know the word prikaska? Prikaska. I heard it, but I still don't know what it is. Okay. It's one of the most beautiful words. It means a fairy story. I'll write it down for you here so you remember the word. A fairy story. Fairy. Fairy story. Do you like fairy stories? Yeah, I like stories. Yes. Fairy stories. This is Prikaska. Prikaska. Chudna prikazka means a wonderful, wonderful chudna prikazka. Mm -hmm. Chudna prikazka, okay? You ready? Okay. Yeah, but it's a great svetel. Chudna prikazka, svetel rai. Svetel rai is a bright day or a bright paradise. Paradise is rai. I'll write it down for you. Paradise, so you remember the word. 
and the other one was bees. That one here is bees. Okay, so we have the words Chudna Prikazka, Svetel Rai, i Zlatokrili Pčeli. Okay, are you ready? So, Zlatokrili Pčeli. I'm not ready. I'm repeating the words so you can get used to listening to them. Okay. What are you writing now, Ayel? Which one? Ayel, I'm writing to the second and need the third. Mm -hmm. I was listening to you. Oh. I always listen before I write. Okay, okay. Take your time then. Don't rush. Just, I know it's, mm -hmm. it is hard to write in Bulgarian language, mm -hmm. but if we are practicing, it will come little by little. Step I'm, already on, I'm already on first grade. I have a Bulgarian. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know it's difficult language. Yeah, but if you work step by step, little by little, every single day, mm -hmm. then at the end you we'll will learn. Better. Practice makes perfect. Bravo, yes. Practice makes perfect. I always repeat my students that the three P's of the are the key of the success. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, so let's say the words again. Could you repeat them? Zlatokrili pčeli. Zlatokrili Bravo. And this I will describe in English as... Um, I made a mistake, really. This is going to be golden winged. Golden winged. So these uh, bees have got golden wings. Okay. Uh, this is going to be in the as a past participle, golden winged bees. I made a mistake. Really? No, golden winged. Yeah. And then Sveto is bright. In Bulgarian language, Sveto is bright. Okay. Sveto, Sveto den, Sveto rai, rai, Sveto rai. And last one is Chudna Prikaska. It means wonderful, wonderful fairy tale. Chudo. It comes from Chudo, which is wonder in Bulgarian language. Wonder is Chudo. And wonderful is Chudna. Chudna Prikaska. Okay. Did you find did you make a mistake? I did a mistake, but I fixed it. Okay, just uh, if you write in a pen in pencil, you can erase the mistake. If you write in pencil, yeah, I have an, an eraser on my pencil. Uh huh. Like me, I'm now erasing the handwritten words, and I'm writing. I'm using an eraser. I'm deleting istrivam. Okay, the my handwriting. And I'll leave only the printed letters so you can read them well. So, could you? Did you write the words? Yeah. Of them? Can you repeat them? Zlatokrili. 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 Prikazka. Chudesno. Chudna prikazka. Could you tell me, uh, as, do you know, could you give me a name of a chudna prikazka? The chudna. name. For example, which one is your favorite prikazka? Kuya tvoja ta lubima prikazka. 
Do you have a favorite fairy story? Favorite fairy story? Yes. Favorite fairy story. Kuya. What do you say? I have a best fairy story. You haven't got a best story, but one of them. I have one. Which one is it? I don't remember the name, but she okay. has a green dress and and pom pons on her on her shoes. Uh huh. Do you like, for example, the story of Cinderella or the little oh, Riding like Hood? But the best princess I actually like is. Ah, Sleeping Beauty. Okay, great. I was asleep and I liked okay. I'll give you the name of a Sleeping Beauty in Bulgarian language. We say Spiashtata Krasavica. I'll write it down for, for you here. Spiashtata Krasavica. Spiashtata Krasavica. It's the sleeping beauty in bulgarian language the sleeping beauty so we say moeta lubima tell her aurora yes so we say moeta lubima prikaska e spiashtata krasavica but there's but it's actually not true my favorite fairy story yes. is Tinkerbell. I see. Okay. Yeah, Tinkerbell. In Bulgarian, we say Tinkerbell. Yes, Tinkerbell. Yes, Tinkerbell is your favorite uh, story, film story. Okay. She is green. She likes green. Okay, fantastic. Now, exercise four. The Kugosa Nasi Dumite Soji. So the question means whom or what do the words relate to? To what these words relate to? We have the word radust, which means joy. This word means joy. And das Livo is a happy, a happy. So, the kogo se odnosi dumite svrži? Okay, the kogo. So the, the, the question means what or whom the words relate to. The kogo. For the kogo. Yes, a happy. I'm happy when, when I play. So we say a happy child, yes? So we say, Stasliwo de te. I'll write down the word here. Stasliwo de te. A happy child. Like you. You are a very happy child. Yes, and your little sisters. Actually, not that happy. Oh, why? What's wrong? Look. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. I just woke up at now. He woke me up early. I know. Me too. Uh, I, yes, I know. Me, me neither. But uh, at least you have a family. And this is the most important fact. To have your own home. A place where you can stay and be with your mom, father and your sisters. That's the most important thing for us to be happy is to have a family. Okay, and when you are happy, you experience, you feel joy. And joy is another word that is uh, used here in this activity. So you can say, no. a joy no. means the name the joy in a story. There's a Mm -hmm. Yes, so the child experiences, uh, the child feels uh, joy when uh, the child is happy. Okay, yeah. so we can say, Tia, she, this girl in the picture, you can see her. 
Maybe the teto may be full of joy, your heart full of joy. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bravo, so you can say you can say the teto. Yes. Yes, or we can say está sleepy. Oh, hello, hello. Está sleepy to the te. E is polneno sasrados. Is full of joy. I'll write it down for you. Is polneno sasrados. Ito tuwa kaso may wak momenta. To e it's full of joy. Is polneno sasrados. Okay, this is a sentence. That uses both That's words. Cool. A happy child yeah. is full of joy. Mm. Okay. I'll write it down in English as well. The happy child is full of joy. It's a wonderful example that you make. Well done. So, the happy yes. child is full oh. of joy. Oh. Щастливото дете е изпълнено с радост. This is what we say. I know to write them in different parts. Ah, bravo, много добре. Чудесно. Браво, браво. Супер. Well done. Okay, we've done the first worksheet. Okay, so we are moving to the second piece but of homework. I, but I didn't finish writing. Okay, okay. I'm waiting. Yes. Don't worry. Okay, I'm waiting for you. But we have two more worksheets to complete for today. Yeah. It's maybe your homework for school, yeah? Mm -hmm. So your mom has sent me three pages. And this is the first one. So what is a typical day of yours when you are at home? Do you get up early in the morning? Ставаш ли рано сутрин? Ставаме ли рано сутрин? Или спиш до 9-10 часа сутринта? I woke up after my dad woke up. Mm -hmm. What time is it? And my mom. They woke up first mom, then dad, then me and now me. Mm -hmm. And then Nella. I see. Okay. So your mom is busy looking after your sisters. Yeah. Do you I help her? Fighting my and do you help mommy? Do you help mommy with your sisters? I help her. She asked me to tidy my room, so I tidy. I Bravo. Just the table on you, clean. Bravo. You, you're such a well-behaved daughter. Bravo. Bravo. I am. Okay. So let's continue. Oh, beautiful picture. Who is that in the picture? My oh. mom and her friends from the work. I see. From the work? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Okay. Good. So can you read the last sentence we wrote? What is the last sentence? The happy child is full of joy, but how would you say that in Bulgarian language? How would you say that? Rados. Well done. We've done this worksheet. So we're moving to the next one. I'm going, to change, yeah, I'm going to change the slide. Okay. Did you copy the sentence? Did you copy the whole sentence? Oh, if I made again a mistake. Okay. Stasliwoto de te e is pomeno sus Okay. Let's continue with the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay, exercise, can you see that one? 
Let me see what you're looking at right now. Yes, you can see it. But can I didn't finish writing. I told you already. Okay. Now, the second activity is to do with uh, mm, moving the word from one line to the other, to the next line. Okay. Prenasiane. Prenasiane. This is, let's say, look at the example. Za graj dam. Uh, have you heard this word before? First of all, let me ask you. Do you know this word? Zagrazdam means? Zagrazdam means? Um, oh, so in, in English, it's going to be to surround a place. To surround, okay? So how would you... Um, how would you uh, divide this word in syllables? So you can move the word from the first line to on to the second line. Okay, by uh, you have to separate the word at the places where we have syllables. Like look at the example, za, graj, dam. So you can divide the word after za, okay. Uh, actually, you can copy the word also between G and R. This is how you can separate the word. Zag, Raj, Dam. You can, yes, Kazi, yes, how you? I just wrote the first word, not the second. Uh, do you want to move back to the word? Yeah. Uh, to the previous worksheet, yes? Yeah. Yeah, but okay. So that was to do with the Stasliwo. So you can say Stasliwo Dete. So the child is happy. Okay. So this one goes with the child. Stasliwo Dete. Okay. The child is happy. Stasliwo Dete. Is full of joy. Then you can say, Stasliwotu dete e ispomenum sasradus. I'll write it down for you here. Stasliwotu dete. Okay. Stasliwotu dete e ispomenum sasradus. Okay. This is the sentence we made. E is Zradust is full of joy. Is Polneno. Mm -hmm. e is Polneno. Sis Zradust full of joy. Okay. That's what we say. If you make an example with these words. That's what you are saying. The happy child is full of joy. Stasliwotu dete e ispolmeno sus radost. Okay? So both words relate to the child. Yes, that's the question here. Whom do the words refer to? Whom do the words relate to? Whom do the words relate to? Child. They relate to the child, okay? The answer is they relate to the child because he's happy and he's joy. Happy, it's a girl. It's a girl. She is happy. She is joy. Okay. Did you write down the sentences? Yeah, I wrote the sentence. Bravo. Okay, let's move on now to the next worksheet. Okay, I'm just moving to the next worksheet. Can you see the other worksheet now? The second yeah. Yeah, it's to do with uh, moving the syllables. Yeah, so how can you separate the words in different syllables? So we say, 
Zagraždam. Okay, I'm clapping my hands to show that they are a syllables inside the words. So each word is uh, made up of syllables. And we must decide where the syllables are by clapping our hands. Okay. So we say, them. You can uh, move, how to say, separate the word after the first syllable. Zapišete kak moga da se prenasi dumite. So this is the example. You can copy, uh, you can move, separate the word after the first syllable. Za graždam. Then after the first syllable ending in a consonant. Za graždam. You can move the word after the second syllable. Za graždam. Okay. And you can move the word at the last syllable. Zagrajdam. Zagrajdam. These are the possible ways of separating the words, this word in syllables. Okay? Can you now try the other words in this activity? We have the word parahod. It means a steamboat. Okay? So the first word we're going to separate in syllables is parahod. Okay, so these are the words we need to write down in syllables. Okay, let's start. Parahot is a steamboat. Let's write it down. So we can say pa. Can you separate the first word in syllables? Let's clap your hands. Pa. And then you can continue. Pa. And then. Yes, so actually these are the only three possible ways that you can separate the words in syllables. Parahod. And these are the two different uh, ways of uh, separating the word. Parahod. Or you can say pa and then Rahod. That's the first way of moving the words. Then you can say parahod. Okay, and that's the only way of separating the words in the table. And parahod means a steamboat. A steamboat. Okay, but it must be in English language. A steamboat. It's one word. Come on, I keep writing in Bulgarian language. It must be in English. A steamboat, a steamboat, okay. That's it. I wrote on a steamboat. Okay, write it down. I'm waiting for you to copy the word. Pa. 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 Parahod. Mm -hmm. Parahod. Steamboat. Okay. I yell. Uh, can you uh, recognize the pattern? So we separate. I did a mistake on, on the road. We divide the words at the place where we have a vowel sound. Because this is how we make a syllable. Consonant plus a vowel. Mm -hmm. Parahod. 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 Yeah. This means a steamboat. Mm, copy the word. I'll just check for some while you're writing the words. Mm. Uh, 
Barakut. Para hod. Para hod. Which is a steamboat. Okay. No, stop telling me. We have three moments. Let's continue. We have praznik. So how many syllables does the second word have? Praznik. So where would you end the first syllable? Where do you think the first syllable ends? Praznik. Oh, it can be praznik, it can be praznik. Okay, so let's write down. So you have to write praz, but the, the first well, it must be praznik, like the example given above. You can link, you can uh, separate the word there, praznik, or you can say praz, tirense, nik, praznik. So there are two possible ways of separating the word into two parts praznik and praznik praznik mm -hmm. praznik okay so it must be separated in syllables when you move the word from the first line onto the second line if there is not enough room on the line you should Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is how we separate the words, the word praznik in two syllables. Okay, ready? Praznik. Praznik. Do you know praznik? It means a holiday. That Bulgarian. Uh, We're on a holiday. A holiday. Yes. Praznik is a holiday. It looks like you're in a holiday. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I have a virtual background and I've chosen a beach behind me. Do you know that you can... I don't have because I don't have my mom. You can choose a virtual background and I have a variety of virtual backgrounds. Okay, I'll now change my background to something more interesting maybe. Choose a virtual background. Round. How about if I am now? Ah, this one. Look, what can you see? Behind? My mom has that kind of one. Yes. The polar, what? The polar radiance. But it looks so beautiful. Oh, yes, the mm -hmm. behind me. And look, I have another picture of a bridge. My mom has that and I saw one of the kids in the school having it. Mm -hmm. And look at this picture, the green grass. And the new one has that. And this one is the earth and the so sun. It has that. Do you like it? <laughs> and finally I've got another beach that's here behind me. There is another beach. I wanted another beach. And we also have another setting here. I'll leave this one because you can see the clouds reflected in the river. So I like this picture. Okay, so let's move on and um, finish with our homework for today's class. Uh, so what can I, what do I have to do now? I have to continue the lesson. That's one here. So, a holiday in Bulgarian language means praznik. A holiday. Okay. The next word is Balkanjia. Could you tell me now how we'll divide this word into syllables? Al yes. Uh, only the last letter ya yeah, cannot be trans uh, cannot be uh, separated because it's only one letter we never 
we never leave one letter on the next line, okay? So it will be the bow, let's write it down, Balkanjia. Bow. Mm -hmm. bow can yeah. I write it down. Uh. Bulgarian letters. Bow, Tilense, can, Tilense, G. But I would say, yeah, otherwise, Balkan Gia. But we never, uh, you see, we never transfer only one letter on the next line. It is a, a new syllable, but we never transfer in, uh, on the next line only one letter in Bulgarian language. Because this letter will be lonely if it's only one on the next line. So you should always make sure she has a companion with it. Okay. So when you separate the, the syllables, one from another, you should make sure that it has a friend with it, okay? So we would uh, transfer the word bal kan ji ya as one word, last syllable, bal kan ji ya. Okay, say the word. Bal kan ji ya, okay? And the next one is, let's continue with the next one. Ma Gios Mik, a magician. Balkanjia, it's a Bulgarian word and means somebody who lives in the uh, who lives on the Balkan Peninsula, Balkanjia, because we live on the Balkan Peninsula and those people who live and uh, they were born on the Balkans, they are Balkanjia. So let's continue with the next word. Magiosnik. Can you separate the word into syllables? Ma? Yeah. How would you transfer the word on the next line? Ma? Can you try IL? Ma. No. Nick. Magnus Nick. Yes. Okay. Write down. Ma. Gios. So you can write S here. Ma. Gios. Nick. Like here. Ma. Gios. Nick. But also it can become Ma. Gios. Nick. Magio snik. Magio snik. Also this way, magio snik. Yes, yeah, so we can transfer the words in two different ways. Magio snik. Magio snik. I prefer the first way. Magio snik. Okay, leave it this way. Okay, don't have to write the other way. It's important that you recognize the pattern and you see that there are three syllables. And this word means a magician. Magician, somebody who makes magic. I have a magician book. Do you have a magician book? Right. Okay. It's magical Yes. Okay, did you understand the activity? Wait. Okay, I'll be waiting for you to copy the word ma gyosnik. Ma gyosnik. Ma gyosnik. Magician. Now, exercise two. There is another question here. Which of the two syllable words cannot be transferred on the next line? And could you guess why they cannot be transferred? Which 
was or which of the two syllable words cannot be transferred onto new line which of the cannot be transferred onto the new line underline underline them pochertaite means underline them okay pochertaite gi can you guess which of the two syllable words cannot be transferred on okay i know i know that but but i really don't get okay okay so let's do it together okay exercise two what? The, can you read the word Ima ve masa ugu ugu yaka yaka poste. Do you know the words? Let's say them. Riba is what is riba? Fish. This is a fish. So can we uh, transfer the word onto the next line? Riba. Yeah, it is possible. And the question is which word? Can so this is not a quick answer because this one can be transferred. The answer to this one can be transferred. So this is not riba. E may. Can we transfer e may? Is name. Yeah, you can. And this one is fine. E may is also fine. Okay. But can we say ve e? No. No. Because, uh, why? Because there is one letter left at the end. So if we have only one letter, like yaka, like in Oste, when there is only one syllable, uh, only one vowel left, we cannot, we cannot transfer these words because there is only one vowel left. But we can say, no, it's a full syllable. Ma sa. Yes, you can. Ri ba. Okay. So you have to underline, underline the words that cannot be transferred. So these are ve, ya ka, ya ka, which means yes. This word means. Let me write the words with the X. Mm -hmm. So this is kola. This one, yaka, yaka. And oste means steel. Se steel. Se oste. You know the word ime. Ime, it's your name. Ime, my name is Mariana. It means more. That's what I that. Also more, yeah, it also means more. There are different meanings, depends on what you want to say. Okay. Ve, do you know? Ve, 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 to translate in other ways, ve, is to swing, yeah. So, ve cannot be transferred onto the next line because uh, we cannot transfer only one letter onto the next, the new line. It is not allowed. I wrote, I wrote three of the ones with the X. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, the answer is we cannot transfer ve, yaka, i oste. And also these three words cannot be transferred onto the next, the new line. Okay. Okay, let's continue the next activity because it's the time is flying. Ready? 
to continue to the next uh, activity. And I have another class with my grandmother. Yes, I know. We have seven more minutes to complete this worksheet. Okay, let's continue. Okay. So, I'm just moving to the next activity. Text. Okay, oh, we have to complete this one now. Hey, where did it go? Uh, you see, I'm just moving to the worksheet. Yes, so we did this worksheet. Okay, I'm taking a picture of that. You get the picture after the lesson. Okay. And now we are moving to the next sentence, the next activity. Okay. Where you need to identify mm -hmm. exercise three. You need to identify the mistakes. Some of the words have been transferred in the wrong way. Can you guess? where they are transferred wrong. Let's say, Svrakata is social peasant in Slavia. Svrakata, it's a, it's like, um, it's a kind of bird. What would be the English word for Svraka? It looks like, um, Svrakata, it's a bigger bird. And it looks like a crow, but it isn't a crow. So you can say, Svrakata is Lusha peasant in Slavia. Slavi is a nightingale. So. Is it, a, is it an eagle? Yes, uh, maybe. But anyway, so the bird, this is the crow. Listen to the nightingale songs. Is Slavia transferred uh, correctly? Or wrong, it's wrongly correctly, wrongly transferred. Can we transfer only one letter at the end of the new line? No, no. you cannot. This one is wrong, so it must be either sla ve ya, or there is no transfer here because there is only one letter. Okay, so the first one is wrongly written, so you say sla. And then you write the hyphen for transferring the word. Sla. What are you writing? Yeah, I'm just writing with my pencil on the whiteboard. Slavia. This is how I we... Don't... Okay, I'll write it down in the right way here. It must be Sla ve ya. That's the only one way you can transfer these words. There is no other way. Slavia. Now look, what is the next word which has been transferred? Lastovichka ta. Do you know Lastovichka? Lastovichka is a swallow. Okay, so Slavia is a nightingale. So you know the words. Nightingale. Nightingale. Slavia. Dobre. Lastovichka. It's a swallow. So we say, okay, copy and copy and transfer the word to Lastovichka. What's wrong with this transfer? Ayel, what's wrong with Lastovichka? Could you tell me? Last week. What's wrong with last week? Yes. What's wrong with the transfer? La, to, must be which, ka, ta. So this is how we can transfer these words after each consonant. Las, listen, las, to, which, ka, ta. That's the only way you can transfer these words, okay? And it's wrongly because today is a letter V uh, without the without each. So this is wrong. Okay, we cannot transfer the word in this way. This is wrong. Okay. Okay. Next one. No povo dobr pe v ets. This one is also wrong because we transfer the word. 
like this, P, and then you say vets. So the consonant goes together with a vowel. But vets, because this is how we pronounce the word a singer. A singer is yes. vets. Yes. Next to old. A singer. A singer. Okay. Pe vets. That's the other one. Chisto srce tia i podnese volšebna desvirka, ko ja tu kosa ti podari. Okay, so what's wrong with volšebna ta? What's wrong with this one? Okay, we're finishing now. It's incorrect. Yes, why is it incorrect? Volšeb. How would you transfer the word volšebna? So we must write vol. That's the ways. B, na, ta. That's the only way you can transfer this word. Full, sheb, na, ta. This is the magic. Uh, there's no a. Uh, there's no a. Uh. Yes, it must be with the letter A. So when you transfer syllables, there must be a combination of a consonant plus syllable. They cannot be separated. They all go together like a sister and a brother, okay, like a family. I mean, consonants always go with a vowel. And last one, podari. Can you? Transfer only one letter on the next line? In no, even in English, I think you can't transfer only one letter at the end. So this is wrong. Then you must write which letter. You should write only, uh, you can write all, da, ri. These are the only possible ways to transfer this word. Paul, da, ri. So you, if you want to transfer the word, you must take the letter R before E and transfer them together as two friends, supporting one another. Okay. So we finished the second worksheet. But you are expected to write to copy the whole text in the similar in the way it is given in the in the text maybe for homework let me know okay and oh i just oh i just i want to write them again here so it is clearly visible for you so we say slavia as one word slavia and last which would be la to which Okay, this is how you must translate and must transfer these words. So Slave is a nightingale, nightingale, okay, and Lastovichka is a swallow. Okay, so beautiful. We are finishing now because it's a quarter past 12. We both need a break, okay. And you've done the second. Can you meet after the break? She she says yes, there's a yes, break. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. I will. I've got another lesson uh, at yes, twelve. Yes. That's yeah, what so so yeah, we'll will you you understood yeah. the instruction. You can do it yourself. Good. Not yeah. all the instructions. Just the break until she finishes another class. And yes. then. <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay, okay. So I will try to listen. I, I have been taking photos of my slides while I was explaining. I'll send you now the photos and my computer will generate a recording. So you also send the recording of the lesson. So she can go over and over again and repeat. Okay. okay. But I want to win Mariana again after okay. the other. It's thank you. Great. Say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Remember after the the second class, I'm and we will I'm speak on Bible. <laughs> Maybe on Friday. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Because.
tomorrow I will be, I'll let you know if I can, but uh, the students, I was expected to, uh, to uh, they, because we are on Easter break now, and yes. they said, Trank, we want to take a break, but this morning they said that they want to have a class in the morning, <laughs> so I will be busy teaching them tomorrow morning, so maybe Friday if you want. Okay. We'll discuss that. Okay. No Thank you yeah, very much. I can much. do it maybe in the afternoon when we maybe. finish the class. Thank okay. you. Oh, when, okay, we'll write to Thanks. Bye bye. Kiss you. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. 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 B